Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about seventh chords, okay? So let's zoom onto our board, okay? The different chord types and the formula. Major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, half diminished, fully diminished, minor, major seven, okay? So this is going to be our workspace, okay? So our very first example is going to be the C, major seven okay c major seven okay this is the short hand for c major seven c a triangle one seven if it was d major seven the short hand would look like d okay if it was e flat major seven it would look like okay so it's that simple so the our very first step is we identify the root note okay and the root note is that very first note written at the beginning everything that comes after is simply a description so in this case the root note is c in this case the root note is d in this case the root note is e flat okay thank you so after identifying the root note we will write down its major scale okay so we are going to write down the c major scale okay so c major scale okay C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So I chose C because it has a, a it's, its major scale is quite easy on paper compared to the other scales, okay? Even us who are not very familiar with scales, at least can relate with a C major scale on paper, okay? Thank you. So uh, next step, we are going to number our major scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So, after numbering our major scale, we are also going to include the solfers for those of us who prefer to compute solfers, okay? Instead of numbers. Okay, thank you. So, what is the formula for the major seven chord? It is one, three, five, and seven, okay? So, one is C, okay? Three is E, okay? Five is G, okay? Seven is B, okay? Thank you. So, just like that, this is our C major seven chord. So, whichever instrument you're holding in front of you, if it's the adungu, or the janzi, or the piano, or the guitar, if it can let you if you can hold four notes at the same time on your instrument, if you hold these four notes at the same time, you will be playing the C major seven. Music is a very beautiful standard, okay? Yeah. The notes are the same everywhere, okay? Thank you. So, we move on to our next example. We are going to use G major seven, okay? So, G major seven, okay? Okay, so the first step is we identify the root note, okay? And in this case, the root note is G. We said the root note is the first notion at, at the beginning, okay? So after identifying the root note, you write down the major scale of the root note, okay? So we are going to write down the G major scale. Also, the G major scale is quite easy on paper compared to the others, okay? That's why I've also chosen to use it. Yes, so after... By writing down our major scale, we are going to number our major scale, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? And then after numbering our major scale, we are going to include the sofas. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. For those of us who prefer to compute sofas, okay? So, the next step is you are going to right to include the major seven we're going to apply the major seven formula here okay so it says one g okay three is b okay five is d okay seven is f sharp okay so this is our g major seven chord okay thank you whichever instrument you have in front of you piano guitar Janzi, 
uh, ukulele, if you play this at the same time, you'll be playing the G major 7 chord, okay? Thank you so much. We are moving on to our next chord type, which is the dominant 7 chord, okay? Thank you for sticking with me. Yeah. D, so our very first example is going to be the C dominant 7, okay? So, C dominant 7, short hand is written like C and then 7, just like that. This is the C dominant 7, okay? If you see maybe G7, this is G dominant 7. If you see D7, this is D dominant 7, okay? So as simple as that. So we said the very first our very the first thing we do is we identify the root note, okay? And we said the root note is the first root of root of the note written at the beginning, okay? So in this case our root note is C, okay? If we had D7 our root note would have been D, okay? So after finding out that the root note, we write down the major scale of the root note, okay? If we had gotten, if we were dealing with this example, we'd be writing down the D major scale, okay? But we are dealing with this one. So let me rub this one. So after writing down, after figuring out our root note, write down its major scale. So we are going to write down the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? After writing down our major scale, we are going to number our major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Thank you. And then, we are going to include the solfers. For those of us who prefer to compute solfers to numbers, okay? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, so. The next step is going to be, we are going to look for the dominant 7 formula, which is 1, 3, 5, 7 flat. And we are going to apply it here. Okay? So, 1, is C, 3 is E, okay, 5 is G, okay, 7 is a flat, so it will be big but flat, okay, as simple as that, and this is our C dominant 7th chord, whatever instrument you have in front of you, whether it's the ukulele, whether it's the organ, I don't know whether it's the jazzy, I don't know the instruments in the world. But if it can enable you to play four notes at the same time, you play as notes at the same time, you'll be playing that C dominant seventh chord. Thank you. Let's have another example of a dominant seventh chord, which is going to be the G dominant seventh chord. Okay? So. G7. Okay, this is the short hand for the dominant seven. G dominant seven chord. Okay, so G dominant seven chord. Okay, so we say the first step is we identify the root note. Okay, so the root note in this case is G. Okay, after identifying the root note, we write down its major scale. So we are going to write down the G major scale, which is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Okay, thank you. So after writing down the major scale, we are going to number our major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? And then we say we are including the solfers. For those of us who prefer to compute solfers, we are to do. Okay, thank you. So we are going to feed in our dominant 7 formula so we can get our G dominant 7 chord so 1 is G okay and 3 is B okay 5 is D okay 7 is 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 a flat okay so our 7 is F sharp but it's flat when you flatten F sharp you get F and just like that we have our G Dominant seven chord. Thank you. So whichever instrument is in front of you, whether it's the piano, all the guitar, all the jazzy, okay? If you play this business at the same time, you'll be playing the G dominant seven chord, okay? Thank you so much. So we are moving on to our next chord type. Thank you for staying with me. This long is still here. I'm grateful. Thank you. So we are going to look at our next chord type, which is the minor seventh chord, okay? 
Thank you. And our first example is the C minus 7, okay? Minus 7, as simple as this. Some people write it like this in shorthand. C, a small m, and 7. Or some people write C, a dash, and 7, okay? This is still C minus 7, okay? C minus 7, okay? So, some... If, if, it, if it was the maybe G minus 7, it would look like G minus 7 in shorthand or G small dash and 7, okay? So, the first step is we identify the root node. In this case, the root node is G. We say the root node is the first node at the beginning of the code. Everything that comes after the first node is simply a description. So, in this case, the root node is G, okay? Even here, the root node is G. Yeah, the root note is C. Yeah, the root note is C, okay? The root note is C. The first note written at the beginning. If this was G sharp, our root note would be G sharp here, okay? If this was here, our root note would be G sharp, okay? So, after figuring out the root note, we write down the major scale of the root note, okay? So, if we're working with this, we'll be writing down the G sharp major major scale. But we're not working with, 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 with the G sharp major scale. So, let me rub them off. And I leave what you are working with, okay? So, we are working with the C minus 7. And we've said our root note is C, okay? So, after figuring out the root note, we write down its major scale. So, the C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? So, after figuring, writing down our major scale, we are going to number it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? And then we are also going to include the solfers. For those of us who prefer to compute solfers. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, thank you. So, the minus 7 formula is 1, 3 flat, 5, and 7 flat. So, we are going to apply this formula here. So, number 1 is C. Number 3 is a flat, E flat, okay? Number 5 is G, okay? Number 7 is a flat, which is B flat, okay? Thank you. And this is our C minus 7, whichever instrument you have in front of you. As long as it can allow you to play for notes at the same time, we said music is a beautiful standard. There are some of the rules apply across all instruments, okay? Yeah, the notes are the uh, notes, okay? Yeah. So if you play these notes at the same time, on whichever instrument you have in front of you, whether it's the piano or the guitar, you will be playing the C minus 7 chord, okay? Thank you. Let's have another example of the minus 7 code, okay? We are going to work with a G minus 7 code, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you. You're still watching. Thank you. So, G minus 7. Shorthand is G minus 7. So, Okay, so we say the first step, we, write, we identify the root note, which is G, okay? Then you write down the G major scale. We write down the major scale of the root note, okay? So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, okay? So after writing down the major scale, we are going to number our major scale, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? After numbering our major scale, we are going to include the solfers. Do, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Thank you, so... We are feeding our formula of the minor scale. We are going to apply it here, okay? So, 1 is G, okay? 3 is a flat, B, flat. 5 is D, okay? A 7 is a flat, so it will be F sharp, but flat. When you flatten F sharp, you get F itself. And this is our G minus 7. As simple as that, whatever instrument you're sitting with, whether it's the ukulele, the jazzy, the, the guitar, the piano, as long as it can let you play four notes at the same time. If you play these four notes at the same time, you'll be playing the G minus seven. Thank you. So let's look at another chord type. Thank you for staying with me. <laughs> so the next chord type we are going to look at is the half diminished seventh chord, okay? Half diminished, okay? And our first example is going to be C half diminished seventh chord, okay? So, 
see half image seventh code is written like C. Okay, C and then all sample write it like C minus seven flat five. Okay, this is still a C half diminished seventh code. Okay. So if it was maybe F, it would be written like this in shorthand, F, or F minus 7, flat 5, okay? So, the first step we said is you figure out the root note, okay? So, the root note is always the first note written at the beginning, okay? So, in this case, the root note is C, okay? In this case, the root note is F. The root note is F here. Everything written after the first after the first note is simply a description, okay? So if this was F sharp, our root note would be F sharp, okay? Yeah. So after figuring out the root note, we write down its major scale. If we are working with this, we'll be writing down the F sharp major scale. But you're not working with this, you're working with the C. Half diminished seventh chord, okay? So C half diminished seventh chord, okay? So we said after figuring out our root note, we write down its major scale, okay? So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? So after writing down the major scale, we are going to number our major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then we said we are putting the solvers, those of us who prefer to compute solvers. And then you come here and look for the, which is the half name seven formula, which is this. So we are going to apply it here. Okay, so number one is C, okay? Number three is a flat, it is E flat, okay? Number five is G flat, okay? Number seven is B but flat, okay? So here we have our C, Half diminished seventh chord, as simple as that. So if you play these notes at the same time, you'll be playing the C half diminished seventh chord. Whatever is in front of you, whether it's the whether it's the jazzy, or it's the piano, or it's the guitar. If it can let you play these notes at the same time, you'll be playing the C half diminished seventh chord, okay? As simple as that. So let's look at another example of a half diminished seventh chord, okay? So we're going to look at the G half diminished seventh chord, okay? So we said the shorthand is G and then this, okay? G half diminished So, we say the first step is we identify the root note, which is G, okay? After identifying the root note, we write down its major scale. So, the G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G, okay? And then, the next step, we are going to number our major scale. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After numbering our major scale, we are going to include the sulfurs. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Thank you. So... The next step, we look for the formula of the half diminished seventh chord, which is one, three, flat, five, flat, seven, flat, okay? So we are going to apply it here. One is G. Three is a flat, which is B flat, okay? Um, five is also flat, D flat, okay? And then seven is a flat. So F sharp on the first, you need to get F itself. As simple as that, here is our G half diminished seventh chord. Whichever instrument you have in front of you, whether it's the jansi, whether it's the piano, whether it's the guitar, if it can let you play four notes at the same time, you'll be playing the G, and you play these notes all together, you'll be playing the G half diminished seventh chord, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. We are moving on to another example, which is that another chord type, which is the fully diminished chord, okay? Fully diminished is the same as half, is the same as diminished, okay? 
Yes, I just had to put the word fully to identify it from, to differentiate it from the half diminished, okay? But if you find fully diminished, it's the same as diminished, okay? So, uh, let's look at our first example, diminished code, okay? The shorthand is C. Okay, so, C, diminished seventh code, okay? So, this is the shorthand which was maybe E flat, we do it in like E flat, the small circle and F, okay? It was maybe F, it would be written like F, a small circle and seven, okay? So, the first step we said is to figure out the root note. I said the root note is the root note at the beginning of the code. So, in this case, the root note is E flat. Here, the root note is C. Here, the root note is F, okay? So, after figuring out the root note, write down its major scale, okay? So, let me leave what we are working with. We are working with C, diminished seventh code, okay? So, after identifying that our root note is C, yeah, we write down the C major scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? After writing down the C major scale, we are going to number our scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? And then, we said we are including the solfers. For those of us who prefer to complete solfers, okay? So afterwards, we are going to feed in our formula for the diminished or fully diminished chord, okay? Seventh chord. So our formula is 1, 3 flat, 5 flat, 7 flat, flat, okay? So 1 is C, okay? 3 flat is E flat, okay? Uh, 5 flat is G, G, but they are flat, so it will be G flat. 7 flat flat, B flat flat, okay? B flat flat, I hope you can compute B flat flat on your instrument, okay? When you fight in B flat, you get B flat the first time. When you fight in B flat, you get A, okay? You understand? But I'll leave it like this, okay? I'll not write here A, yeah. So, if you play these notes at the same time, on whichever instrument is in front of you, whether it's the jansi, or the piano, or the guitar, or the ukulele. We said music is a beautiful standard, okay? The notes are the same on whichever instrument you're playing at, okay? You're playing with, okay? So if you play these notes at the same time, you'll be playing the C diminished seventh chord, okay? Thank you. So let's have another example of a C of a diminished seventh chord, okay? Thank you. So we are going to look at the G diminished seventh chord, okay? And we said it's written like in shorthand, it's just the notes, a small circle, and seven, okay? This is the G. Diminished seventh chord, okay? So we said the first step, we identify the root note. And we said the root note is the note at the beginning, okay? Yes, so G is our root note. We write down its major scale, okay? So we write down the G major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, sharp, and G, okay? So after writing down the major scale, we are going to number our major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then we are going to... Include the sofas, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay? Thank you. So, we are going to look for the alpha formula of the fully diminished. It's here. Okay? We said fully diminished and diminished mean the same thing. Okay? So, one is G. Okay? Three is a flat, which is D flat. Five is a flat, which is D. D flat. Okay? Then 7 flat flat, which is F sharp, but flat flat. But in F sharp, the first time you get F. Again, the second time you come up, it will be E, okay? So, this is our G diminished 7th chord. Whatever instrument is in front of you, whether it's the piano, the guitar, or the jansi. If it can let you play four notes at the same time, if you play this at the same time, you will be playing... A G diminished seventh chord. Okay, thank you. Thanks. We are moving on to our last chord type, minor major seven. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, 
the minor major seven. So our first example is going to be C minor major seven. Okay, so it's shorthand it will be C minor major seven. Okay, so this is the C minor major seven. Okay, so the first the first step as always, then let me give other examples of the short hand. Let's say if it was E flat, it would look like E flat minor major seven. Okay. If it was let's say F F, it would look like F minor major seven. Okay. So the first step is always identify the root note and say the root note. The root note is the note at the beginning, okay? So in this case here, our root note would be E flat here. Here our root note would be F. Here our root note is C, okay? After finding the root note, write down its major scale, okay? So let me only what we are working with, okay? We are working with the C minor major 7. So let me rub the rest, okay? So... C minor major seven, okay. So the first step after figuring out the root note, our root note is C. We write down its major scale, okay. So our major scale is C. For C is C D E F G A B C, okay. After writing down our major scale, we are going to number our major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we said we are including solvers. For those of us who prefer to compute solvers, okay? Yeah. Instead of the other. So C minor major 7 is, the formula is 1, 3 flat, 5 and 7. Okay? So we are going to apply it here. 1 is C. 3 is E. But it had a flat, so it will be E flat, okay? 5 is G. 7 is B. Thank you. And here is our C minor major 7. Whichever instrument you have in front of you, if it's the dungu, whether it's the piano, I don't know all the instruments in the world, you know? Yeah. But if you're holding maybe a guitar or a piano, whatever, if it can help you, if it can ha enable you to hold four notes at the same time, if you play the notes at the same time, so you'll be playing the C minor major seven chord, okay? We already said music is a standard and a beautiful standard as well, okay? Yes, notes are not everywhere, okay? Yeah. So, thank you. Our very last example of the day. The G minor major seven. This is the short hand, okay? G minor major seven, okay? The first step, we figure out the root note, which is the note at the beginning. In this case, the root note is G, okay? So, after figuring out the root note, write down its major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, sharp, and G, okay? So, afterwards, we are going to number our major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? After numbering our major scale, we are going to include solfas, okay? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, okay? Thank you. For those of us who prefer to compute with solfas, okay? Okay, so we are going to look for the minor major seven formula here and it says one, three, flat, five, seven. And we are going to apply it here. One is G, okay? Three is a flat, which is B flat. Five is D. Seven is F sharp. Boom. And there, as simple as that. This is our G minor major seven chord. Whether you're playing the janzi, whether the piano, or the guitar, or the ukulele, I don't know. I don't know what this one is the word, like I already said. But if you can play these notes at the same time on your instrument, which can enable you to hold four notes at the same time, you will be playing the G minor major seven seventh chord. Thank you so much for staying with me up to the end of our lesson. And in case of anything, maybe any other topic you would like me to, to, to discuss, please put it in the comment section, okay? Yeah. Anything you'd like to clarify, suggestions, okay? Use the comment box. 
and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Nurse and her piano. Thank you.